Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Farming Center 22. We're back here on No Man's Land with Grover Games. So we're going to get started here right away. We got quite a bit to do yet, and it's going to get dark fast. I have I have a feeling it's going to get dark fast. So the tether mod I found was this one here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to go with it now. I kind of want to go with the little bit of a bigger one. But 4.7 is not that bad. Our mower's actually smaller than the tether still, so even at that size. So I think... I think we're still gonna we'll we'll go with this the modded one yet just because I I went out of my way to get it and it'll save us back a little bit more money because we bought our we finally got rid of the tent and now we're gonna be living we're gonna be living a little bit higher up so to speak oh, come on ah this thing does not wanna okay there we go I was gonna say. I like most of the other stuff that I've been able to just kind of drag on here and get going. It, this one wasn't having it right now, so right now we're sitting pretty decent on money. I feel like we're sitting at twenty-five grand, uh, so we got just enough to buy the one pasture. But I decided I think we're gonna go with the with the larger pasture, and that way we will be we'll be able to we'll be able to afford. Probably maybe a half dozen cattle if we're lucky right away. And that might be all we start with, to be honest with you. Just to see... Just to see how much feed they take and such. Because I haven't really messed with cattle too much on here. So I don't know what their daily intake is. Their monthly intake is like and such. And I would hate for us to get too many and not be able to feed them well enough. You know, so... We're going to head on back here. We're going to get this unloaded. And I think we're going to tether first and rake. And then we might start combining. Give it some time for the beans to dry out. And also, I almost forgot. I'm in such a hurry right now. There's our new home. We'll take a little bit of a tour at it later. And we'll, have, we'll probably clean up this area over here. Get some grass planted and such there. At some point. But right now, we're, we're kind, of, kind of a little bit in a hurry. Uh, I really want to avoid hiring any help just because I really want to save back as much money as we can right now. Get the 4020 here fired up. We've already we've already put her through through quite the ringer with running the running the tree planter for us and running the mower and now we're gonna get her tethering and then I think we're gonna we're gonna rake the grep rake the hay with her as well get this all unfolded but I we might be going late into the night at the rate we're going right now too starting to have a little bit of buyer's remorse I kind of feel like I should have bought the bigger one so maybe Maybe we will hire some help, unfortunately. Just cause... It's... It's gonna take us a little bit just to get around here and get all this stuff... Tethered out. And then we still gotta rake it and bale it, and then... I suppose the bales will be fine sitting out, like... As long as we don't get too much snow, I don't think there's any snow in the forecast. I'll have to look here. Weather, 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 weather. I always forget where the weather tab is at in here. I just went there. There we go. So it looks like there's no snow in the forecast for December, so... Worst case scenario, we got the hay cut. You know what? We're gonna focus... We're gonna focus on getting our beans out, because... If we don't get the beans out, they're gonna... They're gonna die next month, so we're gonna actually focus on that first today. And then once we get the beans out, we'll focus on getting this stuff tethered, and maybe in the month of December... Maybe we'll be baling hay, unfortunately. And I'm thinking about knocking those three trees out... ...just to get a little bit extra money in for the cattle, if we need to. And... And... 
getting another pallet of all of saplings to plant too because I feel like we could plant a few more over there and we sh we would be fine yet but right now we're gonna focus on getting our beans out because that's gonna be the a big chunk of our money when spring comes around if we can hold on to all our beans for that long but we'll we'll jump into the time lap I think we'll jump into the time lapse here we'll get the beans We'll get the beans combined. Once we get those combined, we'll start tethering. And then hopefully it's not too dark that we can rake and bait. We can at least get everything baled. Like I said, worst case scenario, we can leave the bales sit out for a day and we can always take care of it next next month when we start getting our cattle to roll in. Because we'll also have to make another purchase because of the bigger cow pasture I was talking about. It requires which requires us to water the cattle. So we'll have to buy we'll have a We'll have to figure something out for a little tank or two as well. So, we'll we'll get to work here and get this get all the as much as we can knocked out before it gets too dark. And we'll see you guys at the end of it all.
was knocked down Heard the countdown through the haze In the face of defeat, yeah I was ruled out with no bail out on my own All alone left to bleed out But I rose up from the ground Just like I was spellbound All the odds were against me So I picked up the page And now I'm in the rage Give me some space I'm a movement and I ain't losing Gonna go, 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 go Like a bullet, won't take no bullshit You should know, no, no, no I'm about to explode All right, so we're getting down to our last pass here for tethering. Um, I think we're gonna just wait till December to rake because there's, I'm having a really hard see time seeing where we're going right now, and with the with our with us having such a big rake to begin with, it's gonna be even harder to keep track of where we just went and such. So we're gonna we're gonna wait till the month of wait till the month of December. Hope. Since there's no snow in the forecast, and we should be good, hopefully. In reality, we wouldn't. Chances are, with us cutting grass this late and trying to make hay out of it, it wouldn't actually work out. Just because we, you need real good dry, really good driving weather, and usually in the month of November, it, in my experience, has never been great. I mean, September is usually like the latest you actually like cut and mow hay maybe early October but it's one of those things that we can get by get away with in this game at least uh, we'll park this in front of the wrapper for now 
since we won't be using that for a little bit. Because we'll probably end up next spring having to... Having to cut our... Cut the... Cut another crop of hay and... Making sure we get enough for the cattle. Because I think for now we'll just... Either we'll move the baler over and put it in the... Stack all the bales in the corner here. Or we'll just stack them right in between. I think we'll just move the baler over and stack them in the corner. In the long run. But that 4020 is... Really putting in some work already. I mean, we already got about an hour on it. Almost an hour on it. So it's it's been a good little tractor. Uh, we're going to head up to our little cabin now that we put up. We'll do a little tour of that quick here. But first, we're just going to drop this trailer off here. The one thing I really need to look into is some yard lights. Get some... More electricity brought out to us here. The only power we have really right now is in our log cabin, and that that could is just because of our little generator we got here. So we'll just park the truck. No, we'll just park it right here. Kind of like that spot there. We'll head into the cabin here. So this wasn't the cabin I was originally planning to use. But I like it a lot better than the one I was originally planning. So basically, the other one I was had in mind had like really good detail, but om you only can like access half of it because the other half was technically your bedroom, your bath, and such. But I like this a little bit better just because you could kind of see everything here: our little fridge and everything. We got our closet. I don't know. I never tried. See, I'm curious now if we can. We can even get up there. This ladder move? No, it does not, so. I was curious, because the window upstairs doesn't look like it has, like, a painted-in picture in there, so it looks like you could have almost access to it, but... You know what? It's a nice little place to call home for now, so we'll... We'll go into the next day. I think we'll have to wait till 8. I was going to go at 7, but... It is the month of December, so it'll be... It'll still be dark enough yet in the morning, especially at this hour, I think. So we'll head back out here. And it's a good thing we got that grass cut when we did. Because otherwise it would all be... Be all, uh... What's the word? Uh, there's a word for it, not hiber... Hibernating. I can't think of the word right now. It's going to bug me. There's a there's another term. It's not hibernating for it. But basically the grass is in dormant. That's the word I'm looking for. Dormant. I knew I, th I think of it eventually. It's in a dormant stage now, so let's unhook that here. So we're going to keep going with the 4020. We might even throw it on the baler, too, see how it handles it. We're for it having about 10 less horsepower, it does kind of show, especially when we were, especially when we were cutting grass, because the Oliver usually was pushing, pushing the thing close to 10 miles an hour. But when we were, yeah, there's no way we would have been able to see where we were going with this thing. I don't know why I'm starting like this, because usually I do the inner rows first. Uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll still. We'll, st we'll still get the outside rows done the way I usually do it out in r real life, but this won't take that take us that long. I'm, I'm really glad we invested into this rake. I don't get me wrong, using the roller roller bar rake and that setup was fun, but I have no idea how to like actually operate one in real life. Like the only thing, the only thing. Oh, Vector's struggling a little, so she can't. She can't fully handle the workload we're throwing at her, but you know what? She'll be fine. I forgot we can go a little faster, too. Just the cruise there. There we go. Um, So, back to what, what I was saying. We, we, when growing up, we only had what we called a side rake, which was like that New Holland 258 roller bar rake. And we didn't have that whole setup to where you could ha pull two side rakes and, like, roll... Roll rake together two windrows or 
at once or such like that. So, so basically, what like the first the first cutting in grass is always always yields the most in real life term, usually depending on the spring. But almost nine times out of ten, it's always gonna the first cutting is always the best yielding cutting. And basically, I remember that we would only we would only rake one win row at a time, like the first win row. So the first win row of the f field, because we used the hay bind we had was a was a uh, is a New Holland Holland one, a sickle bar one, and basically it it wasn't a center pivot one, so you it would side swing. Kind of like how that baler set up. I, even though it doesn't really side swing, so basically the first outside round we would do with that roller bar rake for the season would be like the heaviest wind roll out there, and usually we did the. If I remember right, I never ran it myself, so I can't tell you from experience. I think we always did the outside rounds last, just cut. Just because we were always like turning around on the end and such, so it was always the, it was always the outside round, and the, the last round before you got to the straight rows like we're doing here. That it would be. It would be the heaviest because of the way that we were raking it. Because when you do the, like the last, the last inner round before you start getting to the straightaway, I would call it, is that. So the rit, like we're doing here, we're going back and forth. So basically, we would have a little bit sticking on the outside of each of the straightaways, and then we, we would rake that into the other win row, if that makes sense to you. It's kind of hard to demonstrate. Like I should have, if I wanted a good demonstration, I should have kept that roller bar rake and kind of showed you how how we did it, how it kind of worked out. But I tell you what, having a wheel rake is really nice. And this, 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 this is probably going to be the best purchase we'll we'll make on the first sale used market. Which, by the way, I should actually check this out of curiosity, because we do we do have our piece of ground bought now that we can we can harvest lumber from. So if we really need need some quick money to get pick up a good purchase or a good deal, we could do that now. We'll look here in a bit after we get done raking, because I think, I think what we're gonna end this episode with is finishing out baling, and then in between episodes, I'll in my own time, I'll move all the bales, and I, th if we don't purchase anything from the used market, which we'll check here, I keep saying we'll check here in a second, we'll check it, we'll check here after we get done raking, we'll check, and if there's nothing spectacular on the used market, that's not gonna that we don't really need or want. We'll we'll get the cattle bought and we'll get the pasture set up finally. It'll be nice to have some company out here. Cause I was hoping when I cut that episode when I cut the time lapse when I did here a little bit ago, I was hoping that you guys would hear the sound that I always hear seem to hear when we're working later at doing a later at night session. And I really it really gets gets my heart going a little bit sometimes because it's like, what the heck is that? That was n that was not originally on this map, and that was something that it, that the map editor. I'm, I'm sure, I'm, I think it's Alien Gem. I'm almost certain it's Alien Gem. Has added, and it it gets me every time, and I don't know why. We'll have to do one more round. Yeah, we'll have to do one more rake around the field here. But this tractor, this 4020 is really put, I'm really happy with. I'm kind of glad I was already planning on picking it up. It kind of sucks that we had to pick it up a little bit sooner than I wanted to. Because I was hoping it would hold out till we start, till after we got our actual bins and stuff up. Because this is, this is the tractor I'm planning to use as our main, like, auger tractor. And when we get it, when we get our silos silos set up we're gonna it's gonna be our blower tracker as well so it's gonna it's gonna have a very important job even though on the on our farm even though it doesn't seem like it and 
I was going to use it for jobs like tethering and raking like this as well, just so we can keep it keep it part of everything, not just kind of a placeholder when we need to run the blower and everything. Let's see here. So we got one more round we have to do. Yeah, one more round. So we'll pick it up here. And we'll... Well, I guess we don't need to do a full round. We just need to get this little strip here. There we go. Perfect. Let's take this windrow. Let's have this extra little strip here that we'll have to worry about. One thing I didn't do either that I should have. So I've been playing with that round baler extension mod I found. Uh, I am not sure how I feel about that mod yet. It's it's kind of nice to just go on cruise control and not think about it. Think about it. But it's it's just an I don't know. The I feel like when it like down force down shifts you. No, we're just going to park this right in front of here. Just cuz we'll need the space a little extra space to get in there when we start stacking the bales. Be honest with you, if we're gonna uh, do I want to run it? Yeah, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna try running it. Give the Oliver give the Oliver some R and R. Plus, we'll have to fire the Oliver up anyways when we go start picking up bales. And I want to see if this tractor can handle it, handle this baler as well. Testing the limitation. Oh, look at that. So the PTO animation does work. It must be something with just the Oliver side then, which is is understandable. Let's see how you handle it, girl. Uh I'm trying well, after running with Oliver, it's got you got to find the sweet spot again with a new tractor. Uh, we'll just start right here and pick that up. Just because I don't want to miss too much grass. Uh -huh. The automatic dump set. There we go. But we'll he's handling it pretty good pretty good so far. We're already down half a tank of fuel on this tractor too. But maybe it's maybe it's not as fuel efficient as I thought it was. I, it feels like it though. I don't know, I'll have to look. Yep, she's starting to struggle here, so she She does lack the power that the Oliver does supply, so but we're gonna we're gonna at least finish this out. Just because, like I said, I want to I want to put some hours on this tractor, and we you know we'll be using Oliver later today to to get this all wrapped up, get all these bales picked up here. So we'll this will be a little bit of a longer episode, but we'll jump it back into the time lapse here again. We'll finish baling, and we'll we'll see you at the end of it all.
All right, so we're almost done here, and we're going to wrap up the episode here. So one thing I noticed is that the round barrier extension works a little bit better with the 4020, and I wonder if it's because of the way the gear shifts are versus on the Oliver. But the 4020 is apparently not, doesn't have enough oomph for it to handle it quite like the Oliver does, unfortunately. But you know what, we... We got enough, plant enough area, we still might use the 4020 on it. Pick up this little bit that we missed here. And it looks like we got quite a few bales out, out of this whole situation. I didn't think we would get that much. I, th I was thinking at least like 15, just because I know the bales get big. Capacity of the bales are a little bit more just because it's dry hay versus wet grass. Pick up a little bit more here. Pick up that one big chunk over here as well, right next to the bale that I missed earlier. This has still been a great little baler. The only, only thing that I gotta get used to is that its pickup width is not, not the widest. So I get, I get off track every little, every now and then, and I think just because of my habit of running a small square baler that isn't, that doesn't have a center drawbar that has an offset one, kind of like this, because usually this should. I don't know if this baler does it, but usually the drawbar will actually like pivot out, so that way it's you're not running over the windrow because that actually makes it harder to pick the bales up, or not the bales, the grass up when you run it over after you get done raking it and basically fluffing it up. So we're gonna just this part the way here, and I think this is where we're gonna wrap up the episode. I won't make you guys watch me struggle to get to all these bales bales in here and stacked away and I think the next time we'll see ya it'll be the start of the we'll be we'll finally been here a year we'll be in the month of January shut that off here Tractor really hasn't got dirty yet I wonder if it's cause it's still kind of an early version of the model yet which you know what doesn't bother me just cause I I really like having these older small frame John Deere tractors to use on the farm but yeah like i said next time you'll see us we'll probably and before i forget i know i said it used market i mean i i don't know about you i think the oliver could handle pulling that i think she has more than enough power to run it just get one Get rid of those three trees, we'll come back with that mother bin and we'll never have to worry about storing grain on just the little Kilbrose wagon here again for a while. But Nope, we'll wrap it up here today. Um, If you guys are enjoying the series, please give the video a like. That way I can know to keep moving forward. I have really enjoyed the series and I think at this time I might... This might... At this point I might start posting these on Sundays. I haven't decided yet. I'm just going to put a side note if I... Do have started this if I stop putting them on Sundays it's because I might have gotten a little behind or I had a lot more real life stuff going on so basically um, I think Sundays are just going to be more of a bonus video or material of a series I'm really enjoying and like I said I'm really really enjoying myself so far and I didn't think I would just because when I played this map the last time I, I was struggling a lot but the last thing I want to check here is I'm curious how many bales we got. 20. Okay, so we got about the same amount of bales again. But we're going to, like I said, we'll wrap it up here today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date on, with everything on the channel. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching.